Hello, this is Brad or Bread Wild. I wanted to give you a quick overview of X Plane tools. These are three utilities, at least to date, three, that will allow you to work with routes and flight plans a little bit easier in X Plane. So, what it does is it converts those plans that you find online into more usable file formats for X Plane. Right now, you can grab flight plans from FlightAware, Route Finder, Sky Vector, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then convert them into a couple of different file formats for use in X-Plane. The interface is very simple. Just put in a file name. No file name extension is necessary. It will add it for you. You paste in your waypoint data here and I'll show you how that works in a minute. And then depending on the source of data that you're pasting into that window, you'll get different options for output. So let's try one first at FlightAware. This is one of my favorites because these are flights that real pilots are actually flying. So I usually pick a flight that is close to when I want to fly and you'll notice a line down here that says route. I'm not interested in this abbreviated route that shows stars and SIDs and transitions, but I'm interested in a complete list of all the waypoints. So I select those starting with the K in my origin all the way through the T in airport in my destination. Now I notice there's a missing waypoint here that's because it's a boundary crossing. I'm going to eliminate that once I get over to the converter. So you'll see how that works. So you copy it to your clipboard on the Mac that happens to be Command C. Then I'll go over to my converter, put in the name that I want to use, paste in the data. Here is that one um, listing that doesn't have a waypoint. So I'm just going to get rid of it. I think I'll get much better results. I check Flight Aware. I want an xplane.fms file so I can load it into my Garmin. I'll convert it. You can right click and then save it right to your xplane flight plans. Just to give you a preview, you can see that it has indeed converted it to the xplane.fms format. Let's go back and try a couple of others. So let's go over to Route Finder. Let's do the same route. I'm not a huge fan of Route Finder. I think you get better results with some routes over others. So here's our flight plan and again I just want to select the whole thing. Notice we have a different set of waypoints. By the way this will overwrite anything that you've done before with the same name. So be careful. So here are my waypoints. Route Finder, I have two different options here. Go ahead and click FMS. And here is the plan. Let's do one more. So let's try one more Sky Vector. I've gone ahead and planned a route ahead of time and you can see it here in this little flight plan window. The secret here is to click nav log. It creates a PDF. And what you need to do is just select everything in this column down through the last coordinate and then copy it to your clipboard. By the way, if you're on a Mac, I suggest you use Chrome. 
it's a little more complicated with Safari. Anyway, once you get it onto your clipboard, back to the converter, pick our name, here are our coordinates, click sky vector, And just to show you, here is the plan. One last thing, I just want to show you where this goes in X-Plane. So I'm going to right click here, save the link as, go over to my application, and down in Output, you'll see FMS Plans and that's where you would save it. So that's Flight Plan Converter. There's a support email if you have any questions or suggestions.